Yo, shout out to Ozzy, Ozzy, my boy Ozzy, V-R-L-Y, Meadow Gaming. You guys make sure you go check out Meadow. He puts a lot of cool uh, music up, uh, gaming music up on his channel. Um, he's just getting started, so make sure you guys ch go check his video out. No XVE. I'm guessing the XV is uh, Roman numerals um, and Shadow. Appreciate all you guys commenting. And I also want to welcome Desiree Taylor to the Jelly family. I appreciate you guys coming through to the video. I hope you enjoy. Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy Jelly Bean Killer here. Uh, we're gonna hop right into another Warzone win. Um, this was a solo 14 kill game. So recently, I've been playing a lot of solo because I feel like it's helping me get better. And what I mean by that is, uh, to be honest, I mean you can't blame anybody when you die. You you are in control of your position. You're in control of you know the guns you use, what uh, what fights you decide to push, what fights you don't decide to push. Now, usually when I play Warzone, um, I do not like to camp, as most of you who watch me live or just have watched me play any FPS games in general in the past. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just try to go kill by kill, tell you guys what I was thinking um, for every kill and why I play this game style. So, usually I try to drop in super, uh, kill everyone in super. And, by, and if you kill everyone in super and loot super, you will 100% guarantee every time have at least 10 grand um, between the people you kill and the money you find on the ground to get a loadout. So my object of dropping a super store is to one, get a loadout, two, get enough money for a loadout and a UAV. So that's at least 14, uh, 14,500. Um, and then at that end, find a trophy system. Now, obviously here, it was my first game, so I was warming up. There was like a ton, maybe like 10 or 15 people I felt like were dropping. I felt like I dropped kind of late. I just didn't feel comfortable going Superstore because I felt like I was going to arrive there late. So I dropped, I arrived next door because I figured I could push in. But as you see, uh, my uh, heartbeat sensor along with, you know, just rotating on the map took me to all these guys that I'm killing now. So... What I like to do is just drive around in my vehicle. I would get a UAV, drive around in my vehicle, and just basically try to run people over. If they're out in the open, I run them over. If they're not out in the open and they're in a, you know, you play it, it's situational. So if they're in a building, depending on what building, how many floors, blah, 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 you hop out at certain angles, and then you can just challenge. That's what I like to do because I feel like it, one, helps me get more comfortable in fights, and two, it just helps me get better. Obviously, right here, um, I don't have to really go into the explanation of explaining what's going on here. You guys are just basically me watching me hunt down a bunch of campers. All these dudes that I'm killing are just hiding in corners, hiding in buildings. I mean, look how many people are left in the game. 81 people. 80 now. And these guys are camping um now obviously this guy he knows he's engaged so he jumped down on me, which i respect you know he just came at me um but obviously you don't want to do that when you got high ground if you have high ground on an appointment on an opponent don't assume that they have c4 i don't think he assumed that there i think he just thought he could get the jump on my so he jumped down and got destroyed with the mp7 as you guys know one of the best mg uh <clears throat> one of the best smgs in the game so Basically, when you run solo or any game mode, you always want to make sure your loadout is correct with what guns are right right now. So if anyone who plays Call of Duty or if you don't play Call of Duty that much and you, maybe you're watching a video because you want to get an idea of how you want to play solos or whatever mode, um, you want to make sure you have the in-meta guns. And what I mean by in-meta is some guns, based off the patch, are strong and some guns are not strong. Right now, the MP5 is very strong. Uh, it's my favorite gun to use. The MP7 is very strong. For the most part, most of the SMGs are pretty strong. Um, they did a good job with this last patch and all the assault rifles I feel like are fairly strong as well. My favorite assault rifle right now is the Kilo with the VLK on it. Obviously, you want to be... I use, I go overkill, so I use my SMG for, as you can see, like up-close fights like this, close encounters, because I feel like the aim down sight speed is very crucial in these fights. So you want to be able to aim down sights fast when you get in close quarter fights. If you're pushing people with your assault rifle and you don't have tape on it, no stock, and all that stuff to make you aim down uh, sight fast, then you obviously are at a disadvantage. If they have an SMG, or, uh, they're going to get the, you know, the first hit, and if they can aim, they're just going to destroy you. The SMG has more velo bullet velocity, so it's going to be a lot more bullets traveling at a faster rate into your character compared to a, up close anyway, compared to assault rifle, which is really good medium to long range. 
which is why I put it VOK. I specifically use it for encounters like this. I, as you see, I switch because I think it's somebody on the other roof across from me. Now, right here, I hit him, but then I get sniped on the side because I thought I saw somebody over, which I did. I was right, but he tried to steal my kill. He couldn't get it. He was kind of stuck in a bad scenario. I don't like these rooftops that I'm on, which is why I didn't try to stay up there and look for the other guy because I feel like I'm exposed. My back's to everything behind me. It could be a guy behind me with a sniper rifle anywhere. Solo makes me very, very paranoid, which is part of the reason why I don't like it, but it also makes me better because it makes me more comfortable in these situations where I'm by myself because I'm by myself 24-7. But um, right now I have like a 1.91 KD, so I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm one of the best players ever. Uh, I'm just trying to get an idea or give you guys, anybody who's new to Warzone, or just simply want to get a little better, an idea of uh, how I go about getting my wins. I'm obviously, uh, I'm kind of back and forth. Right here, I just rotate into the circle. I get shot in the back. I should have played it. This is where I made a mistake. I should have put on all my plates right here before I challenged him. I got a little rush. I did not need the rush. He was running from the gas. I was fine behind the car, so I had a nice head glitch spot, and I just straight up choked. I, I rushed. I got a little nervous because I felt like he, he was going to push me, of course, because he's running from the gas, but that's what the gulag is for. I have confidence in myself that I can win the gulag, so I wasn't worried here. I just focus up um, and try to get this dub. Now, obviously in the gulag, the first thing you want to figure out is where the person is. If you can't figure out where the person is, then you want to kind of stay moving, but at a slow pace. That's why you see me walking right here. I don't want him to get my pistol. I don't want him to hear me running around or sprinting up the middle. Like, I play aggressive, but you want to be smart in the gulag. It's a 1v1, and most likely the guy's going to sit in the back and just chill. Or simply... Uh, he might push one side and just catch you pushing the other side and just shoot you in the back or something. You want to always make sure you know where in the gulag the guy is before you get aggressive and start to push him. Now, obviously, when you have stun, grade, stun grenades and other types of grenades where you can throw across the map and you get a hit marker, you know where they are, that's different. You don't have to visually see them. But if you don't have those types of grenades, you want to visually catch a glimpse of the person at least before you start running around because they can hear your footsteps and they will kill you if you turn around the corner. Obviously, if the person's bad, you know, whatever. But I drop here, and at this point, I notice there's less than 20 people left. This is when I go to kind of camp mode. I mean, I don't want to say camp mode, but this is, I call it, it's camping. I'm camping right now. But I'm playing smart. I'm playing for the win because I feel like playing aggressive right now with no UAV, only a heartbeat, when I know most players right now in the game probably have their ghost and their full loadouts. I'm trying to get my loadout here. I'm waiting for my loadout. I know the timer for the loadout is coming at the end of, towards the end of this one. Um... Obviously, there's a guy camping, of course. He was probably sitting in that building for who knows how long. But um, uh, I'm going to skip it here. But my loadout's dropping pretty soon, and I knew that, which is why I was kind of hanging out in that area. I was able to get my gun back, as you can see, with limited ammo. But at this point, this is where you kind of want to play smart because it's the end game. You know, you have a chance to win the game. I put myself in a good position to win the game. And right here, you can see I'm just playing it smart. I'm, in the, I'm on the edge of the circle. I know these guys got to rotate in. And I mean, it's all about positioning. It went kind of fast. I kind of wanted to go into detail about every kill and what I was thinking about in every kill. But um, I also didn't want to record you guys by having you watch the full Warzone video. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I'm just here to just entertain you guys, man, and try to help you guys with not just Warzone. Obviously, Call of Duty is just what's in right now. But any FPS game that I like that I'm going to put on my video, I'm going to try to help you guys get a little better. Because that's what we do here, Jelly Bean Killer, on my channel. We try to get better. So I hope you guys uh, like, subscri subscribe, comment. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Jelly Bean Killer, stay blessed. Can I not see how many people I have?